when you think of Steamboat Springs, worms may not be the first thing that comes to mind, but that's exactly where a new species of the crawling critters was recently discovered. And as McKellia White explains, it's lending way to international medical research right here in Denver. Might be a foot and a half wide, and then once you get in, you have to sort of crawl a little ways, and then the cave's maybe about 200 feet long, as long as like a bowling alley, and so sometimes you're stooping, sometimes you're standing, and it definitely totally dark, of course. As a research associate for the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, David Steinman crawls through caves like this one for a living. I go in there with special permission from the city of Steamboat Springs. It's called Sulphur Cave, and it has an environment in it that's very rare, and there are only about 12 known sulphur caves in the world. But deep inside, he had no idea what he'd find. David was the first to inch inside that toxic cave. And I immediately saw large masses of blood red worms are on the floor and on the rocks. And there were, there were big globs or blobs and thousands of worms together. And some places, I guess, maybe 10,000, 100,000 worms. This new worm never sees the light of day, thriving on a lack of oxygen. They're called extremophiles, and they have the potential to help humans. There may be antibiotic aspects. The hemoglobin um, binds blood so well, it'd be nice to see if that could have a medical benefit for people with like def oxygen deficiencies or anemia. So be able to go in a cave that's relatively unvisited and relatively pristine and find a new species in Colorado is you know, interesting. And it also allows us to see that just right here in our backyard, there are still lots of new species to be discovered. In Denver, Michaelia White covering Colorado first.